Right then, hello and welcome back to V-Rally 2. Last time we completed level 2 in the arcade mode and we're about to get started with the expert level and the final championship in arcade mode as well before we move on to the V-Rally trophy. Um, before that though, we have to pick another vehicle and that is what you selected uh, with the votes. So we're going to start with the cars that didn't get any votes at all, which was the Peugeot 206, the Hyundai Coupe, the good old Mitsubishi Lancer, and, of course, the Toyota Corolla. Each of these got zero votes, so we won't be selecting these. Uh, the cars with only one vote each is the Subaru Impreza. And the Ford Focus. Again, we won't be using these cars. Uh, with two votes was the good old Skoda Octavia. Again, we won't be using this one. But the winner with three votes is the Seat Cordoba. So that is a car we'll be using for this championship. So once again, arcade mode, we've already completed level 1 and level 2, and now it's a case of the expert level. Uh, the only difference with this one from the others is that you've got more stages, you have less time on the uh, checkpoint counter, and the cars or the AI are a little bit more aggressive, and that is about it, really. So, uh, yes, here we go then. We have England, Corsica, New Zealand, Argentina, Monte Carlo, Sweden, Australia, and Indonesia. So quite a few stages to go through. Uh, once again, the car settings, I'll just change the gearbox to the highest speed. And that is pretty much it. So England to start with then, special stage 7. And eh, we should be alright. This should be uh, fairly simple. Here we go then. Two, one, go. And the Skoda trying to force his way through immediately. Uh, a couple of things that you'll notice about this championship is the cars are a hell of a lot faster in comparison to the 2 litre and the 1.5 litre cars that we have been using up to this point. Um, secondly, the countdown timer on the top right is incredibly strict on this championship. Um, you will be lucky if you get through all of the stages without losing time. Um, so yeah, they, they are incredibly strict in comparison to the uh, level 1 and level 2 championships. This stage also has a shortcut that you can take. But it's actually a little bit longer. Oh, and he's just going to get in the way. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's slightly longer compared to the original route. So it's just easier to take that rather than faffing about with the shortcuts. That's where the shortcut comes out. Medium right, very long, open. We've got six seconds on the clock. Can we make it? Max right, long. Just right, about. Open. That is what I mean. That is the biggest problem is the, uh, the checkpoint timer. Or lack thereof. Oh, he's crashed. Good. Oh, where's the checkpoint? There it is. Oh, be careful. There's those invisible walls again. At least we're going to reach the start finish line before the timer runs out this time. So it's usually the first lap that gives you the trouble. Uh, but if you can navigate through lap one, then the countdown timer shouldn't be a massive issue unless you crash into the side and wreck your race that way
Well, it seems like we got the first stage wrapped up. We're 12 seconds ahead of the Skoda. Still got no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. I was going to say we had uh, 18 seconds on the clock, but we've just ruined some of that with rolling. Four, three. Uh, we should make it. Oh, my word. That is very, very touch and go with the timer, but we managed to get it done anyway with a timer 4 minutes 9.79. So, uh, yeah, as always, I'll get the replay stuff out of the way, and I'll see you in a minute for Stage 2. Alrighty then, moving on to Stage 2, which is, of course, Special Stage 6 in Corsica. It's only 1.7 miles, so not that long, but it looks a bit like a squashed fidget spinner. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. Hopefully, we'll get another victory, but uh, anything can happen. Like I said, my biggest rival is the, uh, the checkpoint countdown timer. Three, two, two, one, go! go. Thankfully though, this stage has more grip if I don't start mounting the bloody brick wall. Right, oh, the Peugeot's open. rolled. Alright, just need to catch up to the Skoda. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem, as you can see. Medium right, long, open, over crest, fast left, very long. Well, oh, three seconds on the clock, just made the checkpoint. Fast right, long, into medium right, long, open. Max right, long, into fast left, very long, tighten. A lot of undulations on this stage, which makes it incredibly fun. Here we go. Made the uh, start-finish line with nine seconds to spare. Oh, get off the scenery, please. Yeah, as you can see, some stages are easier than others, and they're a little bit more lenient with the checkpoint timer compared to a few of the stages, but... And again, just made it with two seconds to spare. And still nine seconds to spare, same as we were on the previous lap. No, same mistake again. We're only 1.3 seconds ahead of the Octavia. Well, we should win this stage. Oh, if I don't do that. Yeah, we got 19 seconds left on the clock. We should make it to the start-finish line. No problem at all. And there we go. Stage 2 and another victory. You finished first. 
We finished first indeed. No uh, shortcuts on that stage either. Uh, so we got a time of 3 minutes 15.67 to 3.19.11 with the Octavia. The Lancer was third uh, and the 206 was fourth. So uh, yeah, as always, I'll get on with the replay, see if I can find anything worth uh, using as a thumbnail. And I'll see you for the start of stage three. Alrighty then, stage three is next. We're in New Zealand for special stage 07, and it's a gravel road 2.1 miles long. This one might cause a few headaches, but uh, we'll see how we get on anyway. As uh, yeah, we start stage number three. So five more to go after this. And this stage looks like it might have some shortcuts to it because of the, uh, the twisty nature, but we'll see. Three, two, one, go! Oh, already a bit of a weird and wobbly start. Oh. So not exactly a shortcut, but a junction nonetheless. And thankfully, we're all still in a nice little bunch. The uh, Lancer is leading for once. Oh, come on. They seem to be a lot kinder with the checkpoint timer on this one. I guess that's normal being a, uh, a longer stage with a lot of tight twisty corners. As we roll it again, bloody hell, come on. Uh, we still had three seconds on the clock. Oh, come on. Look, see, I'm accelerating and the car just does not move. That is my biggest critique about this game. Losing way too much time. We're four seconds back from the Lancer and the Octavia. Still doing good on time, though. Oh, I've done it again. Well, at least I didn't roll it this time. Final lap. I can see him just ahead. Oh, we made up a bit of time there. Oh, we're so close. No, get off the bloody wall, you idiot. Checkpoint. 
Jesus Christ, we were so close to catching up to them then. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh well, we should still be leading the uh, the championship overall. Oh, that was a pain. So yeah, we, again, it's all down to the time and not the actual uh, position you finish anyway. So uh, the Lancer wins, uh, the Octavia was second, I was third, and the 206 finished last. So once again, I'll have a look at the replay and I'll see you for the start of stage four. Oh well, that was incredibly unfortunate, but we're moving on now to stage number four, special stage 07 in Argentina. It's a gravel road and it is 2.1 miles. So, yeah, similarly to the other one, you shouldn't have too many issues with this uh, unless the hairpins catch us out, which they seem to do because the car just doesn't want to accelerate out of the corners. It just likes to sit there revving the engine and that's about it. One, go! Herpin right. I don't recall if this stage has any shortcuts either. That came out of nowhere. Well, at least this stage seems to be playing a lot kinder to us than the previous one. We still got 12 seconds on the clock, so that's perfect. We start lap two. And now seven seconds ahead of the Octavia, looking at the timer and not where I'm going. Nice, we've increased our lead to uh, just over 10 seconds, which is bloody fantastic. Set up. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but when we go over that big jump again, keep looking at the top of the screen. It's a nice little detail that they added with this stage. And uh, it's a little aircraft, a little, uh, I don't know, a commercial airliner um, with a load of uh, contrails following behind it. And it's only visible on that jump. You can't see it any other way. But yeah, it's a nice little added detail. Medium right, very long, open. 
a little Easter egg they added in. As we increase our lead to 13 seconds. And this stage hasn't really caused any issues at all. It's actually been really straightforward. But yeah, look at the top of the screen when we go over this bump. There it is. Just a single airliner flying overhead. finish the stage with 11 seconds to spare that couldn't have gone any better if i uh predicted it really so uh, we win four minutes 40 seconds 0. 0.65 to 455 with the octavia the lancer was five minutes 03 and the 206 not far behind 105 so uh as always i'll do the usual and i'll see you for the start of stage five in just a moment Alrighty, stage 5 then. Special stage 07 comes from Monte Carlo. Another asphalt road, 2.8 miles. And the track map looks fairly easy, but, you know, looks can be deceiving. The easier looking stages tend to be the ones that gives us the most headaches. Which is a bit strange how that happens, but it usually is. So, uh, hopefully, we can pick up yet another victory. Three, Starting last. Two, one, one, go! go. Just punt them out the way. Right, we got the lead anyway, which is the main thing. The lighting on this stage tends to play with your eyes a little bit. Everything sort of like morphs into one. Oh no, where's the checkpoint? There it is. Bloody hell, they're very stringent on this stage. My word. Bloody hell, just about made it on that one as well. But we survived lap one, so hopefully the uh, final two laps should be a little bit easier to cope with the checkpoint timer. That's how it usually goes anyway. If we don't make any mistakes. Yeah, that's better. We actually made the checkpoint this time. Then crashed into the wall immediately. Cool, final lap. Right, 
Invisible bloody wall. Caught us out again. I think we got enough time though. 15 seconds to reach the end. I think we're okay. Four, three. Oh my word. That one was a bit of a pain. Not the fact that the AI were difficult because they were just far behind anyway, but the fact that the timer was just so incredibly. Oh, awful. Very stringent. Anyway, we win then from the 206, which is a shock, uh, 40316, then 40340 for the Lancer, and 40368 for the Octavia, which is a massive shock. But anyway, I'll do the usual, and I'll see you for the start of Stage 6 in just a moment. Okie dokie, we're in Sweden. It's a snowy road. It's 1.6 miles, and it looks a bit like a cartoon-esque bone. So, yeah, that should be fun. And it's night time as well, so it makes things even better. Oh, this is going to be hell. Hopefully, they'll give us a bit more time on the uh, the checkpoint timer because it is night time and, of course, snow conditions as well. But we'll see. Three, two, two, one, one go. Very long So far, so good. Bad left, very long, tighten. Medium right, long, open. Check medium left, very oh, long. This is going to be very touch and go. And medium right. Car not liking the corners very much. Okay, we survive lap one. And we're leading the Octavia by three seconds. I think I've done some damage to the headlights, they're flickering a little bit. Leading now by nine seconds, which is good. What we've got to do is survive the final half of the lap, and that'll be another victory.
Oh, 14 seconds. Yay, and there we go, another stage victory. We finished first and, oh, rolled it at the end as well. Nice one. So we win over the Octavia then, 339 to 351. The Lancer was third with 354, and then four minutes, 0.46 was the 206. So, uh, yep, I'll do the usual. See you in a minute for stage seven. Okay, back to the creature comforts of Australia, special stage 07, and it's a dry gravel road. 2.2 miles, and it looks a little bit twisty, but as we've come to uh, expect, the twistier stages tend to be the easier ones. So, yeah, hopefully another uh, stage victory then. Has it got one more stage to go after this one? Three, two, one, go! Oh, and the Lancer is on two wheels. I think he actually did roll it as well, thanks to the Peugeot 206. Medium right, very long, open. Medium left, very long, tighten, over crest, check. Fast left, long, open. Right, long, open. That was supposed to be a fast left. That was more of a a medium left that sharpened. Medium left, long, tighten, over crest. Medium right, very long, open. Medium left, very long, tighten. Check. Right, long, open, over crest, into medium left. Oh, nope. Long, tighten. Almost rolled it myself. complete and we still got 22 seconds on the clock medium right very long open medium left very long tighten over crest fast left long open yeah see it says fast left but it gets incredibly tight that caught me off guard last time. Medium left, long, tighten, over crest. Medium right, very long, open. Medium left, very long, tighten. But in saying that, there are some occasions on Colin McRae Rally 2 where you've got a corner coming up and he doesn't even tell you the pace notes so uh yeah you just go into some of the stage completely blind so uh, even the best can uh, mess up the pace notes a little bit and uh, they do it in real life as well they do uh mess up the pace notes and uh, come a cropper as has been the case on many of occasions during the wrc Oh my god, we just come to a dead stop. Hopefully that hasn't cost us too much time with the checkpoint timer. See, they, they've done the uh, the fast left too early because right, the uh, open, medium right, it said it sharpens over crest. So that was that bit. But there was no fast right, left. Long, so, uh, yeah, crest. that was a, a mistake, I believe. Medium right, very long, open. Fast left, long, open. Medium right, very long, 
We're leading this stage by 17 seconds. How? I haven't got a clue, but I'm not complaining. Should be coming up to the end shortly. Fast left, long, tighten. Fast left, long. Fast and there we go. Opens. Hooray! And we finish first again. So uh, we win then 4 minutes 50 to 5.11, 5.12 and 5.12. The Octavia was last. The 206 was second and the Lancer was third. So uh, yeah, I will see you in a minute then for the final stage in the expert level arcade events. And here we are then. It comes down to stage 8, the final stage then in Indonesia. It's a gravel road. It's two miles in length. And unfortunately for us, it's another night stage. Now, um, what I decided to do for the V-Rally Trophy, which is the championships coming up next, is originally I was going to say um, that we were going to go back to the 1.6 litre kit cars or 1.5 litre whatever, uh, the 2 litre rally cars and then the WRCs again. But I've decided against that. So from the V-Rally Trophy onwards, we're going to be using the bonus cars we'll unlock. So it's just going to make it a little bit more interesting on what cars people are going to pick. And uh, we'll see what goes from there, really. So anyway, we'll get on then with the final stage of the expert level trophy. And we should be OK, hopefully, if uh, the other stages are anything to go by. But we'll see. Three, two, two, one, one go. go. Now, you're going to notice a couple of graphical glitches with this stage at the very top of the screen. It's as if the devs didn't add the loading plane in all the way up to the top of the screen when it comes to the little graphics. Um, you get a little graphical, I don't know, glitchy lines at the top, uh, as if the graphics do reach the end of the loading plane. Uh, only happens on this stage and maybe one or two others. Don't know why. It's just one of those weird graphical anomalies. Uh, this stage as well is also notorious for being... A massive pain in the arse when it comes to invisible walls. If you go too close to the sides of the stage themselves, you'll just come to a dead stop because of all the shrubs have their own hitboxes. So this stage, again, is notorious for being incredibly difficult to win. And the, uh, the checkpoint timer as well is not really that lenient. It's very strict on this one. So you just got to play it very carefully. I hope you've got enough continues to win. Ooh, just about made it to the checkpoint. No, into the shrubs. Right, last lap.
medium left, very long, tighten, over crest, fast right, long. Check for Medium right, very long, tighten, and medium right, long. Bad left, long, tighten, fast left, long. There we go, that is the invisible wall I'm talking about. Come on, get to the line, there we go. It's just a massive pain in the dick. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have to do that stage again. Like I said, this stage is just notorious for being just a massive, massive pain in the ass. So uh, yeah, I will see you in a minute when we get to the end of the stage and hopefully win. And it looks like we've done it this time. Come on, push me over the line. Come on, push me over the line. Uh, push me. Uh, that stage is just bloody terrible in every way, shape, and form. But uh, anyway, we finished second because the Lancers have got ahead of us. I'm not complaining about that at all because, again, that stage is just absolutely terrible with a capital T. But we win the rally overall. Um, not in the cleanest way on the last stage, but we did it anyway. So back onto the podium once again in my blue overalls this time with the uh, good old Seat Cordoba team. Uh, so total time then 33 minutes 32 seconds point nine one to 35 minutes over the Lancer who overtook the Octavia by three seconds. So uh, that is not bad at all. I think he done that on the last stage. But uh, yeah, there we go. That is the expert rally complete, and then we should get another bonus car as well. It is, oh, the Peugeot 205 T16 1.8 litre turbo. Bloody fantastic. Maximum power 430. I will take that. Thank you very, very much. Uh, so as I mentioned before, is that I'm not going to go back to the regular cars uh, for the V-Rally trophy. We are actually going to go and focus our uh, attention to the bonus cars that we've unlocked so far. So, uh, yeah, we just load up our driver as always. So, uh, starting with the V-Rally Trophy Level 1, uh, we're going to be using, uh, again, the bonus cars. We've only unlocked three of them at the moment, which is the Ford Escort, the uh, Peugeot 205, and the Fiat 131 Abarth. So, uh, pick whatever car you want me to use for the first lot of rallies. And uh, yeah, whatever gets the most votes, I will be using. So thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you for the start of the V-Rally Trophy next time. So thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and bye for now.